In this video today, we're going to be playing around with our new jack adapter, this Dana 60 front axle, and our off-road floor jack. Stay tuned to see what we do. So now we can roll this thing out back where we got some gravel. Oh no! What's this? It's a zip tie. Can we roll over it? An extension cord. There we go. We got the air hose even. Follow me out back here. We got some blocks of wood. See how this works. Oh. Woo -hoo -hoo. One more drop. There it is. And we're off roading. Off roading in some gravel. Oh no, an air hose again. <laughs> and an extension cord. Today we're setting up our jack adapter here for this Super Duty Dana 60 front axle. The process is going to be the same if you're using a forklift like we are, a cherry picker, or if you're actually doing it in a vehicle or on the ground with some jack stands. It's all going to be pretty much the same. First thing to do when you're setting this thing up is to center your jack on the center of gravity of the axle. For most front axles, the center of gravity is going to be in this window right here. Somewhere within this window is going to be the perfect spot. So try to get that close. The next thing we'll want to do is try to match the angles of these the closest as possible. So we'll go ahead and drop her down a little bit and extend this one up. But the problem is I'm off the third member. So now we'll lower this one down. That's as far down as I can go. And we're just barely touching the third member. So that's about my limit for these two support points. So this is the main load that's supported. Now that that's supported, I'll swing this over here and adjust this up to hold the pinion for rotation. Now that it's all set up, we can test the weight of it, see how centered we are. Side to side, left to right, I can rock it pretty easy. If you can rock it pretty easy, that means you found your balance point. If you can't rock it, generally you're going to have a lot of weight on one side. Take the weight off of it, move the jack as necessary to get that good balance point. Now that we uh, set up our jack adapter on a transmission jack, we're gonna pull this off and we'll do the same thing on a floor jack down here. So down on a floor jack, we don't have the adjustability of the head unit like this. So in order to get what we want, I'm gonna add a block of wood that the third member will sit on. And this is gonna let me bring these support points up so I can adjust the actual level of the axle a little bit better. Okay, so I think we got this adjusted. Let's see how it sits here. Take the weight on it. Looks fairly good. Feels pretty balanced, but it's, it's leaning off to the side. And so one thing we include with the jack adapter is this little wrench. So now with weight on it, we can actually adjust this to level it out turn this one down now that we got this centered we we'll want to add a couple of straps on this and I like these style straps because you can just loop them through but regular ratchet straps work good you definitely want to use ratchet straps and especially on something like this now that we've got some straps on it we'll want to lock these bars down this is the other end of this wrench we have that has this short side so we can use this to tighten these bars lock them down now you really play with this see how see how it feels side to side it's just this is like perfectly balanced it is just wiggling around on its own we're going to try the next thing we're going to go off road with the off-road floor jack here and the jack adapter we'll spin this around and grabbing the jack it's easy to rotate when you lean down it spins the back end pretty good now we can just go ahead and roll this thing out back where we got some gravel. See how that does. Oh no, what we got back here? It's a zip tie. Can we run over a zip tie? Oh, made it over the zip ties. What's next? Oh, there's an extension cord. Can we get over the extension cord? Oh, made it over that. Oh wait, now there's an air hose. Air hose? Oh, made it over that one too. Okay. I think we got past all the obstacles now. Let's see where else we're going. Follow me out back here. Now, ooh, here comes the interesting part. A drop. We got some blocks of wood. See how this works. Oh. 
Woohoo! Made it. Okay, next drop. Oh, it grabbed. Oh, there we go. One more drop. There it is. And we're off roading. Off roading in some gravel. See how I'm, I'm holding on to this housing right here? So I'm pulling from two things at the same time. We proved it possible to actually get this outdoors and it's possible to drag an axle, to pull an axle through the gravel. But uh, definitely sh all these shocks, once the axle to move around, a Dana 60 is a little bit much to be doing what we're trying to do here. And also pushing the jack in the gravel is very difficult with this much weight on it. Let's see if we can get this back inside and we'll try to do this. By myself, is it possible? Whoop! Got halfway. Okay, try to do. Okay, hold up. Go back okay. a little bit. Turn, line up. Ready? Two, three, go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so two people are necessary for certain jobs, but it's still on the jack now. And we'll just roll around. Oh no, an air hose again. <laughs> and an extension cord. And zip ties. There's just stuff everywhere. Actually, it caught a zip tie. <laughs> it caught a zip tie. Look at that. It's oh, not rolled over. Goes. Now it rolled over. It was just a thick part of the zip yeah, tie. Yeah, it didn't have enough weight on it. Yeah, so now come look at this. All that shock in, see this? My block moved. So this whole, this moved again. It's still sitting on everything. But it is, you know, definitely sketchy. We like to be sketchy here at 911 Motorsports and push the limits of things so you don't have to be calling 911 when you do things the wrong way like we do. We'll do it for you. Subscribe to our channel, like it if you like it, share it to your buddies, and uh, stay tuned for the next one so you can stay up to speed with 911.